Yo, 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 what's up, you guys? Uh, we're back at it again with another video on Horizon Speed. And in today's, yeah, in today's video, we actually uh, got the reveal for the Mustang 6, S650. Uh, and we're right now, we're having a convoy to the reveal. We're headed to World uh, Ford's World Headquarters, right over here, as you can see. It's really packed. Get in from over here, I think. So let me see, where's your phone? Yeah, yeah, it's from here. It's from over here. Are they already leaving yet or not? Okay. Are they already leaving to downtown or not? There's the first round's leaving, but the second round leaves at 530. Second round? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let, let's, let's go with the second. Oh, okay. Got you. Go ahead so park you. in that parking lot to the right. All right. As you guys can see, it's full of Mustang. It's like literally every parking lot that they have is filled with Mustangs from every year you can think of. I wasn't expecting it to be this packed. No, I don't. That's uh, it 350. Is, yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a, you just park and leave every time. So they, did they have the asphyxes? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Adam. Whatever it ends up to, but I don't like, I don't like it. Let's get it over with. I She needs the parking pass. But ask her to be like, why they cut off the other side? Slow down. Do you know why they cut off the freeway? Because the president was here. Go left. Oh, the president? Yeah, Go the left. President, left. So, Michigan, you?
Yo, what's up, you guys? So we, we just, made it. We just hit the river, uh, river fought. So and yeah, we're walking right now next to the river. Uh, because the eventually New Dodge dump. Electric is making, it's, it's weird, man. How can you have a car just based on Stupid. noise? And then they go ahead and try to make it look like the Challenger. Uh, take it from when, it's, when it's electric, what do you mean? Come on, man, it ain't no muscle car. Trying to make it, have it looking like a muscle car, but at yeah. the same time, that it's not true. really a muscle car. So why? I don't know, talking about it, it got some tones to it. Yeah, yeah, ringtones. Yeah, ringtones, that's what Come it on, man, we talking about a cellular phone or a car? But anyways, Hey, it's gonna be outstanding. You got thousands of people from uh, and thousands of uh, uh, cars, cars from um, out from state. out of state, and that's not including the people from Michigan. And you know, Michigan people, they literally are all over. Tons of people with the Shelby's, the Roush, the Three Boss, you know, and the Coyote. So uh, we're actually gonna be uh, really. Uh, how you can say it is uh, shocked in what we're gonna see. Literally, all we know is the lights, you know, that's it. And other than that, I don't know if you're really uh, gonna see a setup like the Shelby or a setup like the 350 Shelby or the Mach 1. So I don't know, man. Maybe Ford's gonna give us a little bit of everything. But who knows? All I know, you wait, guys. I'm gonna literally. Surprise you guys. I might be the first one to get one BK's already on it. Yeah, I'm already on the list. I mean I, I, before you know, I'm already I already got Yeah, we guy. already got He's our guy. Out. We got the pl plug to it So we just want to see what are we looking at first, you know yeah, sure. But you All know, right, well, we'll see you guys in the next part Yeah, because I'm losing breath. Yeah, that's walking. I, it was it's those old, You remember those old couple? I told them are you ready to walk? It was like yeah, they did not they thought we we're gonna walk down the stairs That's about it. They don't know. It's a, what a mile and a half. Oh, no, no mile mile. And then uh, he forgot to bring me a shirt because I, I, I had yeah. class and then we were a hundred percent for sure if we were gonna come or not So yeah. here I'm wearing a hoodie right now, and it's 80 something degrees. 84 Yeah, so you know, he's already Thanks to him. You know, he's already losing them uh, pounds natural <laughs> All right guys, All right, see you later Yo, come come ABS. I like a homeless guy. He already. Oh, and Tadani still got it in coverts. Look like the M3. Uh, G82. Wheels. Oh, they got it covered the inside. Tafelo. They put some tents on it this time? Yeah. What exhaust? You see, you said it's gonna be like the 500 tips. Yeah. No, no, it's the regular Mustang tips. No way. Yeah. Why? Jared Ganda, 
and I am in the heart of downtown Detroit, right? Right here with thousands of Mustang owners, fans, media, and Ford employees. Over the last week, fans across America have woken up. Ooh, what was that? That's the rumble of a stampeding steel herd. You could feel it. A convoy of Mustangs from every generation left Tacoma, Washington, and have finished right here in the Motor City. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go. As you can see, the celebrations have already started. There's plenty more action to come. And I'll be honest, maybe a few surprises along the way. Sure, you're going to see the all new Mustang tonight, but you have no idea how far we're going to take it. Mustang is the longest continuous running sports car nameplate in North America. Sold on six continents. There's simply nothing like it. And we the fans know, Mustang isn't just a means of getting from A to B, it's about enjoying everything in between. The journey, the freedom. Whether you're like me and hit the PCH in California or cruise around town with some homeboys, Mustang exists because of how it makes you feel when you get behind the wheel. It's an exhilarating experience that puts a ding smile on your face, right? So, but it's easier to forget that now more than ever. People liked the pony lighting and we just took it a step further with the new Mustang. So as you approach, you'll see animated lighting that just greets you. And then when you climb in and you see the new cockpit, it looks like a jet fighter. That was the inspiration behind the design. So we've just added a lot of digital tech into this new cockpit. I mean, look at it. There's the cockpit right there. You can see it here on the big screen. And you're talking about Jet Pilot. We've probably all seen Top Gun. If you haven't, you live under a rock. I have an old one and a new one. So, you know, I, I can't wait to uh, take this for a quote-unquote test flight. It's, it's pretty, it's a game changer. So give us the details more about the cockpit. Well, as you can see, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? It's a single piece of glass that houses two large displays, one for the new digital cluster and one for the sleep or center stack. Look at the craftsmanship. The fine materials used, the big large piece of glass, is they gorgeous? Absolutely. And it is. Thank yeah, it looks good. It's <laughs> elevated, right? Because this it is a canvas, so it's completely customizable, and it kind of kicked that off. But it yeah, definitely is customizable. So, like you said, with it being customizable, even if we go back to some of the performance, right, you can just dial in your performance by the selectable, customizable, selectable drive modes. And we have up to six that you can customize for your driving conditions. And then other customizations are going to be my color and the cluster things. Alicia mentioned the Fox body, so you can select it on the center stack, see the preview, hit the select button, and it's instantly on your digital cluster. Your gauges and then other screens within your cluster, you can just customize, see previews on the same screen, and then it's there on your awesome. cluster. Awesome. What about the soundtrack of life? I know, and as you're driving, you remember you mentioned that Vanilla Ice song? That's right. You want to turn up the volume, you've got that tone. A new chapter in the storied racing history of Ford Motor Company and Mustang. Its name is indicative of its design and its aspirations. Its de demeanor, absolutely sinister. Dark Horse is for the enthusiast who wants pure red force of nature. All right, so you talk about nature, but this is, uh, I mean, this is absolutely supernatural, is more like it, but I want all the details. Come on. Yeah, it, uh, we turned up the volume on everything that mattered. Striking visual cues, countless hours of iteration between our engineers and the studio to get everything right for high speed handling, reduced drag, 
cool. Tips are still the same. As you can see, guys, this is they even included the GT performance. Look at the black horse, they did something to the spoiler. So, is it still a separate piece? A deck lid? Well, no, is it? Yeah, I think it's part of the top. And look, the spoiler, it's going up instead oh, of going check down. Out the black horse. This is it still looks like the oh, They made it uh, a mini uh, GT500 track pack. With. That's what it looks like. It's a smaller version of it. But what the... What the... Uh, oh, yeah. Those? Yeah. Those are huge, yeah? But why did they go with those wheels? What are they, what are they come why is there something different? Why not stylish? What kind of thing? It's pretty sweet. Hey, the color too. You see the color? Yeah, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Color on it is really sweet. Similar to uh, the Shelby we got, the mischievous purple. Um, yeah, but this one's kind of a, I don't know what it is. Oh, you know the stripes you were trying to get? You know the stripes that you were trying to get? Yeah, the end of the same thing? Hey, you know they got 315s in there. No way. Hey, look, it's, it's pretty sweet actually. Huh? Black horse. Dark horse. Black horse? Oh, dark horse. Dark horse. <laughs> we got right behind us dark horse. But I want to know why they named it Dark Horse. If it's actually, uh, I don't know if they're gonna only have it in this color. But, then but the color is not like dark. The badge. the badge just makes it look cheap. Look at the badge. The badge is like a transformer. You know those badges. They should have. That's the first thing I'm gonna remove. But the lights are sweet. First thing. Yeah, yeah sure. You want to review it? Oh, I'll review it. Yeah. All right, guys. This is the dark horse. One thing I realized, I'm not too big a fan of the badge. It kind of looks cheap, really. I don't know. It doesn't show the face of the horse, but not in a realistic way. And then the door handles, too big, too big. Literally, uh, for a performance car, all of our performance cars, I have not seen a door handle this big. It's more of a, like a SUV door handle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't not pay attention to it, but it's the first thing I want to pay attention to because I'm gonna be opening it and closing it all the time. So it's really look, look guys, all the way from here. See, look, that's too big of a bit. But I do like the clean look, the little wrap on the on the middle of the hood. And the hood is going to be up there. It's, it's kind yeah. of and what they took the, the, the BP1 uh, spoiler and literally made it aggressive. They did like a little mini uh, gurney flap on each side. But why would they uh, empty on the middle? Why would they do it in two different colors? Uh, yeah, that's this color. Literally, I don't know where they got it from. It does not go with it. And they kept it clean, same color paint, no black, no gloss black. Got flat in bottom. The lights are literally tucked and folded from the top. They're uh, is it a clean look, but they're smaller. They're half the size of the regular. Is that like the mach -E's? Yeah, yeah but, no, but the mach -E's are more long. Yeah, yeah. If these, you look at it from this angle, it looks are like the mach -E. in, and you don't see it unless you duck down. Yeah. But look, this is now a part of the... Um, the whole trunk. The whole trunk. You cannot remove this as the deck lid. Yeah, it's, so it's no one piece. there's no way of changing this anymore. 
you out when I told you how the badge look? It just looks like a Transformer badge. Like cheer, I don't know. But, and but also they, the, the tips, look, yeah, this is actually the only one that has the bigger tips and it got the black, but it's still not like the Shelby 500, I can still not put my fist in it with the no, four, I think 500, I can literally, wait, I think they might be five inches. I'm no, not, no, no, they're four, they're four. Maybe like the Mach 1. No, I meant the Mach 1. Mach 1, yeah. yeah, yeah Mach 1, they, so they did like four something. Four. You got 315s, 3019s in the back. Uh, they gave it a more uh, aggressive. And uh, you don't got much of a big gap, but they cut twos. Yeah, let me, let me go off some. And they got a little, uh, a little thin Yeah, the thin can get this over here, look. Oh yeah, they did that. extra player. piece like they did with the Mach 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just, um, I think to keep, uh, because the wide, the setup they got just keep the rocks from uh, messing up the bed. But to be honest, overall it looks longer. I don't know if it's because it, uh, it, it is. It is longer. It is longer. It is. Yeah, it, it, might. Longer. it is longer. And uh, the, the 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 hood, to me, I think with the bump, it's actually wider. Because you see how flat it is. Okay, so you know how the 350 goes like this. Yeah. The Shelby GT500 goes like this. Yeah. This one they did a mix of both, straight and then just going out like yep. the both sides. Yeah, like the 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know but what? It's actually, you know and what? as you and can look, see over here, you can see. And it's not, look, this is not fake. It's actually open. You're going to get air from here. So air is going in from here. Oh, yeah. the engine. Oh, it's not blocked up. Uh, right this is open. These are the only two fake ones. Oh, oh, ones. oh no, even now. Uh, they do the same thing. That one's open. But the thing, uh, I am. One thing I gotta say is, why did Ford do this, the black piece? Like, it makes it look like an after unpainted market uh, part. But, to be honest, if they keep it, I hope it's just for, you know, right now, just the concept look of it. Other than that, it's not gonna be a clean look for the black piece. I mean, I get it, the lower bottom uh, splitter, but other than that, you know, it's not gonna be clean. side, at least it's just you're unexpected. It absolutely, I mean, part of the reason this isn't a Mach 1 or a Boss is we wanted to do something, we wanted want to design freedom, right? We wanted to do something different. If you do a Boss, you got nailed. Like people know, people have a whole list of what you got to do right, or else they're pretty good. We wanted plenty. Design freedom, right? And uh, this front end stretches it, widens it. Oh, yeah. It looks wide, it looks low. Right? And, the, and then the open nostrils. I love those. I literally paid attention to them right when I see them. Open that. nostrils, that's yeah. where we're sucking air for the dual uh, dual air box, twin yeah. throttle body V8. The 500, yeah. Absolutely, right? You don't need any mesh in there preventing air flow. No, no, no. no. I, I thought those were the same, but turned out to be those are open too. They're the, the same the as the GT500. So yep. they're all real. There's nothing fake about any uh, open. On the group. Yeah, so the driver's side is uh, auxiliary or uh, auxiliary oil cooler. All right. This side on the passenger side is blocked off. And the reason, that's yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. there's, no, there's no cooler there, and we didn't want to leave it open and take the hit on lift and drag. So. Yeah, yeah, because it messes up. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Now certainly in the future, yeah, we could drop a cooler in there if we need it for something. Yeah. You know why? Like the GT500, I like my Shelby when it's the vent in the middle of the hood. It actually starts small, then it gets bigger as it gets towards the windshield. But this one, it got a big one in the front, then three small ones right after it. Is that, is that something for a reason or because and I don't see it deep like the 350 I got or the Shelby literally has it like tucked in a little bit and it goes up. It's literally just one. You're talking about the uh, uh, barrel track? Right? Yeah. Yeah so first of all um, it's low yeah. it's low yeah yeah so a couple things one the location's very intentional yes um, the further back it goes, the less effective it is for lift, uh, lift reduction. Okay? I've never seen it this close, yeah. Yeah, so the GT350 is pretty far forward as well, right? Yeah, the 350, yeah. yes, but the GT500 is. So the 500 actually starts in a similar location. It just but it's going. longer, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It keeps going. And you'll notice, you'll notice GT500 
500 has the same ramp. That's their, uh, that's there for aerodynamics. Uh, yeah. Very impactful for drag and lift as well. All right, so that that lip is is not unintentional. Yeah, it's very functional from an aerodynamic. So, quick question: Is it going to be like the PP2 uh, Mustang 20? Thank you for joining us tonight at the Manual global debut of the all-new Mustang. We look forward to seeing you at the next one. Have a good evening. Thank you. So, so you got the option of two, not like the PP2. Yeah. No, this is very much more uh, vision, more Mach 1 hardware. So you get to accept either the Tremec manual or the 10 speed on. With the Tremec, you guys did an outstanding job with that. Better than the MT82. Oh my you god, that. yeah. Well, that was, I mean, that was a must have for us. We, we, when we decided we were going to do this car, we're like, we've got to have the Tremec. And, then, and we had to talk people into it, right? Nothing's ever easy. But, but, but it was, I mean, you could hear the reaction of the crowd earlier. It's you say, thing you say Tremec for. and people are like, yeah. That's yeah. Exactly that's, right. I didn't really give a care about the car. The guy the kind of stuff. Okay the style or I didn't really give much about it. All I cared about is please put a tremic in it. Please put a tremic. I'm tired of baby shifting and you don't know with the coyote you gotta switch out coyote you know? and, and now and, and, hey inside baseball but we didn't say it. But guess what we did? Tremec comes with a 3D printed pure titanium anodized blue ship ball. Oh wow, that's freaking sweet. killer. Yeah, the interior, it's outstanding. I'm going to tell you. This interior is, yeah. is not, the reason the windows are blacked out, this doesn't even have the right interior. Oh, oh no wonder. I was like, what kind of tents are on this? Wait. When you see the real interior, it'll blow you away. I can't believe this shit. Ten speed, right? Ten speed on these, or are they doing the dual clutch transmission on the automatics? Uh, it's ten speed. Ten speed, ten speed. okay. But it's got next gen controls. It's super quick. Lightning Perfect. Quick. So it's like the 350 show. Right. And regarding the, you know how they said on the steering wheel you can rev it. What is the button gonna rev up to? Uh, yeah, so you can use your key fob. So you rev the car? Yeah, so you can be standing here. That's what uh, I heard. I'm car, cars and coffee, right? Yeah. Somebody's looking at your car, you're like... <laughs> yeah, because I hate going oh, back in there. Like you could control up the RPM or? 5,000 RPM. And does oh, it come wow. with this car? It comes with... Actually, it only comes with autos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Auto, but any auto with an active exhaust... What am I gonna do? I have no idea. You gotta talk to Mark. I wasn't nice meeting you, man. Home run. Take, All right, see, take care. Yeah. yeah. He said they're throwing in there at the, uh, the board, the tip of the, what do you call it, the vulture of the shifter. Uh, uh, he said a titanium shifter. 3D oh, reflective a, a 3D something, yeah. Oh, yeah? Something. It's, it's gonna be something Nobody sweet. Nobody said it yet. And he said, he just told us. I think a lot maybe of stuff. he he had a little too much. Yeah, that's why he stepped yeah. it out. Hey, that's that's why, why. He started, his like, wife yeah. started tapping him. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she was. Like, but he was telling us a lot of stuff. And he said, actually, they're not gonna do like the PP2. Okay. They're gonna give you the option of having an automatic and uh, uh, manual. Tremic. Okay. Yeah. So nice. yeah, so the dark horse, you're gonna be able to. If people don't like the, I don't know, not, I love it. Just, I was literally praying, praying, please Tremic. I didn't give a care about the updates, but now they threw a Tremic in 500. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Gotta yeah, love that. Yeah, hey man, I like, I like the air. We got them 275s now. Smaller wheel. Yeah. Yeah. The colors are sweet on them. Hey! Hold on. All right, you guys, we're back. And that was a long walk.